This is Ryan Elliott for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. We're down at the Copper Box today getting ready for the Olympic qualifiers coming up over the next couple of weeks with me, C4 Chev, Chev on Clark. Chev, been a few weeks since I've seen you. What's been going on in that time, mate, and how are you? How you doing, man? Um, what's been going on? It's just been hard graft. That's what's been going on, you know, blood, sweat and tears. Um, preparing for this um, next massive week, you know, that's, that's what's been happening. I'm guessing you've sort of tapered down by now as we're just sort of matter of days away from this this qualifying event here in London. What does this sort of time entail for you? Is it just about relaxation? Is it about mental prep? What will you be sort of doing over these next couple of days? Literally just, um, you know, doing the last little bit just to maintain and get your body in the optimum performing uh, preparation state. Yeah, that's literally it. Relax and just get ready to, to go out and perform. What's the mood like in camp right now? You know, some people have been a bit more jovial today. Some people have been a bit more business-like. What is it for you? How do you feel right now? And what is that mood like in the camp as well? Um, I'm very relaxed. Um, I don't really worry about much. Uh, I think that's the general mood in the camp. Everybody's just relaxed and just ready to, to go and handle it now. You know what I mean? We've been preparing for so long and you just want to go out and perform and deliver. One step away now. Do you think that teenage Chev that had just had it, has his first fight would believe that you'd be stood here right now, ready to go? I always believed I can do anything I want, but I don't know. I don't know if I think I'd be here right now. Do you know what I mean? But I, I, I do believe I would be something good. I don't know if I, or this good. Do you know? We've spoken before about that, that time you had away and how you've been flying since you came back leading up to right now where you're one step away from the Tokyo Olympics. What would it mean to you to crown off that journey by bringing, Olymp bringing an Olympic medal back and, and getting your face up on the wall up at the Institute as well? It would be amazing, man. First of all, it would be amazing as a reward for my mum for the sacrifices that she's put in and just uh, for the coach that recognised that, yeah, he could have done something, do you know what I mean? Just as a thank you to them. And um, as you said, for myself to have my face on the wall up there next to all the great, great um, GB athletes, it'd be amazing. Now, we've spoken about it before, but as we stand here in the copper box, it's, it's easy to imagine this filled with people cheering you on in just a few days' time. How much of a lift will that give you to not only have the home support, but friends, family being, being able to come down as well? Uh, that, would be a, that would be major. Right? Reason being is because since I've been on the programme, we've never really fought in the UK. So to finally have family and friends in an, in an abundance here, it'll be amazing because they'll be cheering for each punch that you throw it and every punch that you land. Do you know what I mean? Not only just family and friends, but London, do you know what I mean? This is where I grew up, so it'll be amazing. Has it been weird sort of preparing on home soil for a tournament like this? You mentioned you never really had one. Has it, has it, has it been odd? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's been a little weird because we haven't had to... <laughs> to get ready to go on a plane. Like when you when you get to the airport, normally you're like, okay, switch on now. But we just had to take like a three, four hour journey from Sheffield to here. So it's a little bit different, but we're still handling the situation. Now I know the qualification sort of process differs from weight to weight. Is it last day or last four for you to qualify? What is it? Last four for, for my um, weight class um, and a weight class above. Yeah. For you to obviously reach the last four, is it, is it on your mind to not only qualify but to look good and feel good going into Tokyo 2020 as well? Yeah, um, you know, want to get further than the last four, want to win the whole tournament, you know what I mean? Um, that's always the main goal. You can't just come here to just do just enough. It's never good enough. You've always got to go out and try to be the best. So that's the main goal. Chef, there's a lot of special talent in this room as you look around here. Can you just tell me about how excited we should be about this team going into Tokyo 2020? I mean, I think the stats speak for themselves. I don't need to um, pump up anybody. Um, since I've been on the team um, and I've been taking note, um, I've heard that we're the most successful teams that's brought back medals from certain tournaments. Example, the... Uh, the Commonwealth Games in Australia, we brought back the most medals ever. You know, the European Championships in 2017, again, the most medals ever. So it's, it's a great team and people should be excited. Now, Chef, I just wanted to talk a couple of things heavyweight boxing away from this. I'm sure you won't mind. A couple of fighters that you'll have seen up close. Daniel Dubois, Joe Joyce, they're throwing it down in April. Great fight for not only the British scene, but the heavyweight scene itself. How do you see that fight playing out? Can you split between them? Great fight. You know what, I don't have a, an opinion on that fight really and truly. Um, 
it'll be a great fight though. I think it'll be great for British boxing, you know what I mean? Like all the big boys um going at it, but really and truly I don't have an opinion on it. And final one I'll leave you, Chev. Uh, you know, for everybody that's sort of getting behind you and and sort of sending you those lovely messages of support, I'm sure you've had them in abundance as you get that that little bit closer. What do you say to them just a few days out now? Listen, um, it's going to be exciting. You know what I mean, um, when I fight, you know, it's explosive. It's all action, um, and it's bad intentions with every shot. So, get down. If you can get down here, come down. Make some noise at the copper box, and it's going to be loud and lively. Not just myself, but the whole team. So, come down and support. And if you can't support here, stay online, watch it on TV, tweet us, at us, whatever. Just get involved. Chef, thank you very much for your time. As always, best of luck, my friend. Thank you.